while Kate's at work launching her new range of lingerie, Pete's at home holding the baby. She hates me kissing her just like a mum. Look. Mm. Stop pushing me away. Come on. His goals for 2008 are to release a new album and regain his six-pack. So he's booked another session with his trainer, Nick Schofield. A man Pete's happy to pay, but less happy to see. Were you training outside in this freezing cold? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, seriously? Outside. Outside. We're doing your rocky stuff today. Oh, Balboa. Sure. No pain, no pain. Well, OK, do I have to run? Can I just walk? Yeah, we're... we're just to warm, warm up? Just to warm up. We're Already we're getting out of it. Slow jog. Slow jog, right, OK. Pete's got every reason to be apprehensive because ex-Royal Marine Commando Nick takes no prisoners. There's always an element of pain in training, I think, especially for people who, uh, who are new into it again. Uh, but it's good pain. It's making him stronger. And pain is weakness, as we would say. But today's going to be a full-on full -on beasting. You're going to launch this with as much power, energy, aggression as you can. Launch it, chase it, pick it up. Launch it, chase it, pick it up. Happy? No, yeah. okay. I'll do it. So when you're ready, just go for it, OK? Maximum effort. Chase it, let's get the legs open, good, good. And again, once more, see it, pick it up. Get the power in there, good. Over to the weight, OK, six on each side. Concentrate on that technique, keep that back nice and straight. Good, two, so keep it going. Two, good work, that's it, keep it back straight. Go, got the horses watching you again, Pete. What's up, Rosie? That's it, let's oh. keep that there, good. And back. So go on. And chase it all the way in. As soon as you get to it, rest. Good. Well worked, mate. Excellent. Good stuff. Do we have to do that one again? Yeah, you're doing that once more. Oh, fuck. Oh, mate. I'll tell you. <laughs> that kills me, man. That's hard work. OK, 30 seconds. Great, 30 seconds. While Pete finds the strength to carry on, the preparations for the photo shoot are well underway. The idea behind this launch is a novel one, as Katie's brother and fan club manager Daniel explains. We basically put a competition on both Katie Price website and the Jordan site, saying to members, would you like to model with Kate for a lingerie launch? It was like a pop idol or whatever it was. We all sit around the table with the pictures saying, oh, do you think this one, do you think this one? And then we just came up with the six. They really standing next to Katie in front of all the press in their underwear. Very brave. Katie introduced her range of underwear to the market because she believes women of all sizes should have the right to feel sexy. Well, I've, I've just seen the line up on a piece of paper. I'm standing directly next to Kate. And then there's another girl who's like a size eight next to me. I think it's Elise. And I'm a size 14. Right. <laughs> These pictures are going to be seen everywhere, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, all the national so. tabloids, all the magazines. <laughs> all the magazines I buy, I'll be looking at myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've been a bit. Do you reckon maybe a bit more in the corners, yeah. darker? Yeah, yeah. I'm going a bit no, I love it, but I just think because it's a flash, it yeah. really blasts it out. And then it will look natural, that will. Most of these girls have never modelled before, so Kate goes into mentor mode and uses her experience to help them look their best. Yeah. <laughs> You're the one, you've got to feel confident as well. Do you think that looks better or not? Yeah, it probably does. Unless I just literally, that bit you've got there. I know what we can do. Do that, and then we can get some mascara and put it through the hair. Mascara, that's a good idea. That's the trick. <laughs> Kate knows the girls need to be well prepped because standing half naked in front of a pack of photographers isn't easy. Right, so you three, right? Imagine just stand like that, get that leg, pull it forward like that. While Katie takes control of the lingerie launch, the beasting continues for Pete back at the house. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. I'm back in my pants. That's good, good power. That's good. Three. Like one, two. Well worked. Good. Feel all right? <laughs> Come on, 
smile. Where's the smile? I'm smiling. It's go. internal. Jab, jab. Good. Jab. Come, go. Good. One sec. I said to Nick, you have to get me. Ripped in three months. Sometimes I should just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Back in West London, the press have arrived for the lingerie photo call, and the girls are almost ready to step on stage. Normally, if you get a group of girls together, they can be right bitches. There's not one bit of bitching, not one bit of deavering, apart from me wanting a mug instead of a teacup for my tea. But yeah, they're all nice. I think they're all like in awe, maybe nervous, or because I start to shit myself a tiny little bit. So God knows what they're feeling. The photographers are beginning to get impatient because the girls are five minutes behind schedule. Do you feel good? Are you sure yeah, that nobody good. hasn't got? But with hair, makeup, and lingerie sorted, it's a simple case of slipping on the all-important footwear. What size are you? Six. Are they too small? What size is that? Thirty-nine. Yeah. Has anyone got two right feet? We've got lots of two right feet in. And she's only got one shoe. It's two right feet. Joking. While the girls try to resolve the issue of having one pair of two right-footed shoes, Pete's taking a well-earned breather. I hate it. I'm not enjoying it. I enjoy when he goes at the end. 30 seconds. 30 fucking seconds is all he ever says. 30 seconds, fucking 30 seconds. What is that? It's the harness. For what? You'll see. Push it up to the left. That's it. Good. Good. Go on. Drive. Up the hill. Up the hill. All the way. All the way to the hedge. That's it. Go on. Keep going, mate. Keep going. 30 metres. That's all it is. 30 metres. Stand there. Yeah. Go on. Keep pushing. Five metres. All the way. Good. Press. Well worked. Superb. Great effort. Oh, my God. That's it. Good. I want to throw up. That's it. Suck it in. Keep your chest up. Hands up high. Open lungs up. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes, yeah? That's enough horsing around for one day. I've got to go to my... One kill me. Yeah, that was good. Peter's training session has come to an end, but back at the shoot, Angie's drawn the short straw and has to wear the odd pair of shoes. I've got two right feet. I know you have. <laughs> Do you want to be on the end of this then so you haven't got so far to walk? No. Can we try it? Try more. Oh my god. I'm not walking that far, am I? I'm just going around it's the moment of truth for the girls and Katie. An unsuccessful launch could jeopardise this range of underwear. I'm not looking at your bodies now, I'm just looking to make sure everything looks right. <laughs> <laughs> what was there, Bracken? Oh, I loved it. I don't want to do it again. Nerve Bracken at first, but then I got into it. It's like once in a lifetime opportunity, and I've done it, basically. <laughs> I think it went really well, apart from my big bum. I may have my first step to be a model, but I will tell you. <laughs> Katie's one of my idols, a real inspiration to me, so it's just coming here today is wow. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> what was it? Was it like you thought it would be or not? We've had so much fun. <laughs> There was an element of risk inviting six fans to help launch Kate's lingerie range, but it paid off. And, well, perhaps anyone can get in Kate's undies. Oh, there's a cheap shot for the boys. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Later the same evening, and Peter's charity work continues. He's been invited to speak out against bullying alongside Tito Jackson. But it's going to be a tough audience. <laughs> Since his management meeting about the new album, Pete's mind has been working overtime. I thought of an idea for a song called Fuck. 
but listen to it, right? Because obviously, if you said fuck, you could never have a song title like that because it wouldn't be. But if you had it F U C K, hang on, and put a little I before the F, so it was if you C K, then it could be. But the predominant letters are F U C K. But I could call it If You C K, tell her that I love her. If You C K, tell her that I want her. You know, like K is in K. So fuck could be a great title for a song. I, I thought that was really clever for some reason. I don't know why. Pete's been invited to speak by martial arts expert Matt Videz, who supports the anti-bullying campaign No Bull. Still staying shaved on you? Well, yeah, I am now. I am still got a lot. I'm, I am getting there now. I'm yeah. training quite yeah, hard. Defend yourself from Kate, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Pete's been a massive Jackson 5 fan since childhood, so it's always an honour to meet up with Tito. Well, thanks for inviting me down in. I do appreciate it. And I, you know, I, I would love to say to you guys too, if you would like Oh, absolutely. Jump in any time. Just do the look and I'm there. Yeah. Hi. Um, <laughs> I'll say a few words. Yeah, any time. I, I love doing these sort of things. Yeah, I love speaking. Very inspirational. <laughs> I was a young man like you guys here. I had people take my lunch money from me, uh, bigger guys. Uh, I'd go to school with a dollar in my pocket to buy my lunch. And I used to have to give it to a uh, guy that was 18 years old when I was only uh, like 11 years old. Absolutely. And I learned. No, it's not the way to be. Four U.S. number ones and two decades of international success isn't a bad way of sticking two fingers up at the bullies. And now it's Pete's turn to inspire the audience. I was in Australia. It was all blonde-haired, blue-eyed guys. And I was... I, I'm Greek, right? So when I went to Australia, I had this curly hair, dark curly hair, brown eyes. And kids used to just tie me up to the fence, throw stones. I used to get battered at school. And you know what? We didn't have the opportunities people have got now to go and report these things. So like Tito said, respect is the best thing you can have for anybody. And you'll go so far in life. Now that the formalities are over, Pete can't resist getting involved. <laughs> it's been a successful event, and as a way of celebrating, Peter invites his hero out to dinner. It's an opportunity to spend more time with someone who unwittingly kicked off his career. I was highly inspired by the family here, musically. I was. Absolutely. I, I took a major challenge on. I tried to perform not just a song by Michael or a song by Jermaine. I tried to perform all of your bits on one show. It was so funny. That's how I got signed up. I picked a Jackson 5 song and then I was doing all, all the moves that all the guys were doing, but I'm on my own. It was so funny. <laughs> I still won. I don't know how I won. I was like 16. You have a studio at your home? Mm. I love it. I love it. I said to Matt, next time you come into town or after you've finished in Devon, um, Katie and I and our kids, we live about 20 minutes from here, but in the middle of nowhere. We have 26 acres of land, so there's no one around. No one bothers us. You'd love it, honestly. You would love it. And I'm a good cook. I'm a very good cook. What is your favourite place? I can imagine living in London. What's your favourite meal? Oh, to cook? I love cooking. I cook. Thai is... I do well, but Italian for me is the best. All pasta. different <laughs> types of pastas. I'm Greek, you know. I like pasta. You love it. No. Right, because you cook everything. Oh, you don't like it? Oh, no. oh, really? I thought you were going to say I don't like it. I love it. Oh, you don't like pasta? Okay. What about um, Thai? Do you like Thai? Yes, I can do Thai. Chinese. That's a, that's a challenge for me. That's a challenge for me. Okay, here's a challenge for me. When we meet again, I'm going to have had to learn a, ch a Chinese dish. Okay. If that's what you like, I'll it's learn it. Yeah. No, Chinese. I will learn. I will make a platter of the things. Can you come and help me? <laughs> Thank you. Coming up, why is Pete feeling inferior? And it's hidden, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's Thursday, the 6th of March, and Pete is going back to school. You're doing good. How are you doing? Yeah, good. I'm good. How are you doing? 
As well as supporting Tito Jackson on the No Bull campaign, Pete has been asked by the NSPCC to speak to the children at St Paul's Primary in Chessington. Thought I'd dress for the occasion, ladies and gents. Pete has been an ambassador for the charity ever since he went into the jungle in 2004. Everybody's really excited that he's come to visit, staff and children, as well as some parents. Children especially look up to celebrities and, you know, they, they are key members of our community. And I think, you know, Peter coming into the school will have a real impact, um, uh, you know, with the excitement as well as the message that he has. Just for once, because I've always wanted to be a teacher, can you say, hello, Mr. Andre? Just once. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. That was just for my ego. Sorry. Um, right, guys. Somebody gave me a book a few years ago and said, read this. And I read it, and it was about a child that had been abused at home, okay? It absolutely shocked me that this kid could go through this abuse. And as soon as I read that, I was so touched by it, I thought, I've got to do something because I felt a connection, even though I didn't have abuse at home. I understood the pain he was going through. So, um, has anybody got any questions for me? Yes, mate. Did you get bullied when you were at school? Yeah, that's where I got bullied the most, at school. And so much so that I didn't want to go to any kind of under-school discos because I thought all those bullies were going to be there. I hope none of you have to go through this, but if any of you do, it's the worst fear in the world. You just want to get home. If any of you ever have any problem with bullying, would you just tell somebody about it? Because I tell you what, there is nothing worse than living like that every day. You can overcome it like that. All right? So will you do that for me? Yes. And just one more time for my ego. Can you say yes, Mr. Andre? Yes, Mr. Andre. Oh, I love it. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. What an ego trip that was, did Mr. Andre. I've, had, I've always wanted to be a teacher, and I had to hear it once. Yeah, confirmed. Confirmed. I want to be a teacher. I loved it. Now that Mr. Andre has finished his assembly, he has been asked to sit in as a special guest at the school council meeting. How are you? Where am I allowed to sit? Okay, you pick a chair for me, and I'll do it. This one? Okay. I know you're nervous because camera's on over here, but he's our friend, don't worry about that. So just say whatever you want to say, we're fine. The school council meetings are holded on every Monday of every month. Oh, he's good. He is very good, we do, don't we? And you talk in the school council, but you make decisions about things, yeah. don't you? Oh, yeah, we've got a new lollipop lady. Now, kids, don't you think, right, that if you're going to have a lollipop lady, she should offer you all a lolly as you're crossing the road? <laughs> The reason I say that is because I always wondered that as a kid. I thought, why they call her a lollipop lady for? I don't even get a lolly. No. But, a healthy one. Um, I think they call them the lollipop lady because they have a stick like a lolly. Kids yeah. really responded, didn't yeah. they? He was absolutely brilliant. He fielded any awkward questions very well. And uh, he just came across as so natural and so, you know, dedicated to the cause of the NSPCC. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Potential teacher there in the yeah. making as well. Without Mr. Andre, yeah. <laughs> I think you guys are doing a wonderful job, and uh, and I thank you for letting me be a part of your meeting. Um, and you, you, you can go president. You can. You're good. You're good. You'll know what I mean in a few years. You're good. Back at the office, Katie is preparing for a photo shoot, which will have a domestic goddess theme, a theme which Kate feels right at home with. No, I tell you what I am good at. Everyone loves my pudding at the moment, my crumbles. Oh, you can make that next week. Ah, uh, if I dinner. can do it anyway, I, honestly, I'm impressed myself. Imagine making the crumbles. Take the fruit out of the bloody can, rinse the juice out, put it in there, get the ready-made crumble, Put oh. it on thick bit of sugar in the oven, on what, on 200 way. degrees for 30 <laughs> minutes, but preheat the oven before you put it in. Amber Solaire, no, that's sun cream. <laughs> sun tan lotion. Do you know the one I mean? Custard, lovely. Ambrosia, you yeah. mean. That's it, Ambrosia, not Amber Solaire. Downstairs in the office, Pete and his green-eyed monster are wondering why he doesn't have the same amount of product endorsements as Katie. Where is my book? Is it on that shelf? I'm going to be very impressed. 
of my book. Would you know, oh my God, I've seen it. And it's hidden, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's hidden, mate. Do uh, you know, I'm very impressed. And guess what? <laughs> the paper bag. Look. copies of, of one product and it? that's several copies of another product yeah. several copies of another one several copies of another one yeah. another one several oh, copies of another one yeah. and the jewelry yeah. so oh, i think yeah oh thank you thank you <laughs> absolute mega stance of katie price here um oh and there's oh god there's so much stuff i can't clamor over to find it oh was there a peter andre top anywhere no, no, not really. Have you ever bought out a feature on mm. Well, no, but I'm waiting on the endorsements that we're supposed to be getting. Anyway, how's it going, the pictures? I mean, I wish we had time to do some other stuff, but it's, you know, we're sort of working seven days a week. Yeah, appreciate that. Um, say hi to, um, just book me in an appointment with my wife sometime this year. Poor Pete. Right. But back at the domestic-themed photo shoot, a woman's work is never done. Yeah, great. Yeah. Me one hundred aside. After eight costume changes, three dogs, a playpen, and a chicken, there's only one thing for it: a hot bath. Miss Price, your bath's wrong. Would you like anything else, Miss Price? Hey, yes, please. Can I have a cup of hot chocolate with double cream? Mm -hmm. Dying to just go. Oh, I love that. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining me and for getting intimate with Katie Price cross Jordan. <laughs> On next week's Katie and Peter, what's Kate's whipping up in the kitchen? That's what I like to do with Pete when he pisses.